Hong Kong Chief Executive Kerry Lam is due to deliver her annual policy address tomorrow. The Legislative Council also reconvenes the same day. And it's likely to draw crowds onto the streets in an attempt to stall the meetings and defer government bills. Roland Lim tells us more. The Legislative Council building will be on amber alert when LegCo resumes on Wednesday. That means that there will be tight security measures in place, meaning that people will have to be screened before they enter the building. On July 1st, anti-government protesters broke through the glass panels behind me into the complex, which have yet to be replaced, by the way, and caused damage worth more than $5 million to both facilities as well as equipment. The chief executive usually delivers a policy address at the LegCo chamber, but hostile reception in and out of LegCo already has the administration making alternative arrangements for a recorded video message or a live feed instead. Water barriers have already been erected around the area designated for protests. Recent opinion polls show very low trust uh, of the government and all the main officers. So I think uh, even if she wants to shift the attention to uh, like policy issues or housing issues, I think that is not going to help her much. So I think there is a basic doubt about her ability to give her Hong Kong and a lot of people want to see her go. In the absence of any political solution, her policy address will instead attempt to address social ills plaguing the city, such as a home starter scheme to alleviate the cost of housing and more social welfare programs to address social inequality. Expectations are low among opposition lawmakers for any measures that could bring normalcy back to society. I understand why the protesters, especially the teenagers, uh, use force to fight against the uh, police force and uh, we of course we don't want to see the situation uh, getting worse but it is the duty for the government to answer to our reasonable demands as soon as possible. Apart from withdrawing the controversial extradition bill, Mrs. Lam has not made further concessions, including calls for an independent commission of inquiry, relying instead of the police watchdog, the IPCC, to produce a report. I know a lot of people are, are kind of awaiting uh, some sort of interim outcome of the investigation. Uh, because so far we don't see any interim report or interim outcome. If there is any interim outcome of that sort of investigation on police conduct, if there is that kind of outcome, that may actually address some people's concern. So uh, I think all along we urge the government to uh, sort of expedite the progress uh, on the investigation. The biggest political party, the DAB, is calling on all sides to shun violence and to restart talks with the people again. Meantime, the lack of effective dialogue between Mrs. Lam and the pan-democratic camp will also undermine the government's plan to get its agenda back on track in LegCo. With a backlog of some $9 billion worth of government funding requests to debate, LegCo's finance committee meetings have already gotten off to a bumpy start with the opposition in no mood to cooperate. More stormy debates are expected when the new national anthem bill and negative vetting on the anti-mask law are tabled. Enacted by the chief executive under emergency laws, the new anti-mask law is subject to retrospective vetting by LegCo. Roland Lim, CNA, Hong Kong.